In this video we'll talk about using Mixcraft's effects. There are a couple different ways to use effects, and the easiest one is called insert. And that means you're literally just inserting it into that channel signal path. There are two different ways to add an insert effect into a channel, and the easiest is just to press the little effects button right here for a particular channel. So I'm going to add an effect to my bass guitar track here. And this window appears once we press the effects button. We can then press the down arrow right here and we see a list of all the available plugin effects. I'm going to start by choosing Acoustica EQ. And now the EQ is inserted in the track and you can see the effects button turns green to show us that there's an effect there. You can also add insert effects in the mixer window by clicking the mixer tab. And here we have the two corresponding channels, rock beat and bass guitar. And clicking the effects button in the mixer channel has the same effect as clicking the effects button in the tracks up here. If you'd like to edit the insert effect, press the edit button. And you can see our control interface comes up and I can hit play, and I can manipulate it. To hide the effects interface, press the X button in the upper right hand corner. The effects list window can be hidden in the same way by pressing the X button in the corner. Each plugin contains an array of presets making it really easy to find a sound quickly. You'll see that right here where it says preset. You can click the little down arrow here. And here are a bunch of presets that you can select by just clicking on them. If you're in a plugin's user interface, you can also access the presets right here. Effects can also be bypassed by clicking on the little check mark right here. And if you decide to get rid of the effect, you can just click the little X over here, and you can see it goes back to nothing. And you can also change effects by just clicking that down arrow again. If you've edited the controls of a plugin and you'd like to save the settings, you can do that by hitting the little blue disc right here and giving it a name. I'm going to call it Raver Mitch and hit OK. And then when I hit the preset list, you'll see it in the list. You can also delete presets from the list by pressing the little X right here. But unless you really don't want them in the preset list, there's not much reason to delete them because they take up very little room on your hard drive. You can also create a chain of effects by clicking on the down arrow in the location below. So let's add, for example, a chorus. And now I have two effects at once. And you can also change the order of effects by grabbing over here and moving. Clicking up here will bypass all of the effects.